How to handle friendly NPC treasure. I'm a relatively new DM, I ran some games back in the early 80s, basic dungeon crawls and we had a great time. Today, I'm starting with some of the intro 5e campaigns. I'd like to get an opinion on this scenario. My party is doing well with talking to NPCs using persuasion and intimidate and moving the story along by obtaining all the necessary information. They will be coming upon a rather strong adversarial NPC that where they will use the same techniques instead of killing and will likely convince this powerful NPC they are friends. The NPC has a treasure chest with a key item to the story that can easily be handed over. The treasure chest also contains some nice items that the party would benefit to have. If the party and NPC are on friendly terms, what if any, method or role play should be used for the NPC to hand over the other items, assume no killing. The NPC is friendly, but, he certainly wouldn't hand over his magic items or the sum total of his wealth in gold pieces. The NPC is initially very adversarial and will fight if necessary. Assuming the player's role intimidation and succeed, then, the NPC will be intimidated and not fight. Not friendly per se, but, willing to talk. Once discussion begins, the NPC will give them an item to move the story along. There is nothing necessary for the story in the treasure chest, just all nice to have. This is a nice system agnostic question, but I'll open with a quote from Dungeon World. If you ignore the small amount of mechanics in it, it essentially answers the question, when you have leverage on a GM character and manipulate them, roll plus cha. Leverage is something they need or want, on a 10 plus, they do what you ask if you first promise what they ask of you. On a 7 to 9, they will do what you ask, but need some concrete assurance of your promise, right now. Parley covers a lot of ground including old standbys like intimidation and diplomacy. You know you're using Parley when you're trying to get someone to do something for you by holding a promise or threat over them. Your leverage can be nasty or nice, the tone doesn't matter, merely asking someone politely isn't parleying. That's just talking, you say, leverage is anything that could lure the target of your Parley to do something for you. Maybe it's something they want or something they don't want you to do. Like a sack of gold. Or punching them in the face. What counts as leverage depends on the people involved and the request being made. Threaten a lone goblin with death and you have leverage. Threaten a goblin backed up by his gang with death and he might think he's better off in a fight, so, you are right that they wouldn't just hand over the treasure. They need to get something in return, that could be something tangible, here is some money. That could be the lack of something, hand it over and we won't smash your face in. Something based on a lie, the Dark Lord Zizizooks will rise and burn the town down and we can only stop them if you give us the item, the trick is convincing the NPC that the deal is worth it, if you leave aside the persuasion and intimidate options that the players are fond of, as well as ruling out killing, then that leaves you various forms of theft, sneak past them as steal it, render them incapacitated without killing them and steal it, use magic to steal it from a distance I don't recall any spell that D&D has which would do this, so it would likely require something custom. 